Hi, this is Iced. I'm going to show you how to upgrade your dream from legacy mode to modern mode, including the items and local species. There have been a lot of questions about local species in modern mode, so the tutorial is going to focus mainly around how to upgrade those. For the demo, I'm going to use Indigo Nightfall's Nightmare Hotel, which is a free downloadable dream. The first step to upgrading to modern mode is going to include upgrading the patches using the dream upgrade tool. It's included in your program files. You can find it at this path for a PC, and it can run as a standalone or it's accessible from the Dream Ed. To start, you're going to select your original patch folder. For Nightmare Hotel, there's a default patch folder here, so I'm just going to copy that path. And the key to running the upgrade tool is to put the upgraded patches in a separate folder. So I've already created this 32 bit patch folder here. And I'm just going to copy that path here. And then you just say upgrade now and it'll upgrade everything that was there. So this is what came through the upgrade. If we check out the original folder, you'll see that the original folder had a lot more stuff. So what happened to all that? The first thing that happened here was item and item 2 were combined into items. Item 2 used to be um, just this 319 long object thing an item was before that and then there was item 3 and item 4. Now that's all combined into items and it's quite a large file as you can see. All your stuff is still there, you don't lose anything. Um, it's just in one larger file now. It makes it a lot easier. Portals are in a separate location so you don't have to worry about overriding those items. You'll see that the local and local portrait which was this flying dragon bird with the assorted portrait was combined into this new local species. You'll see that the colors were actually changed as well. The new remap colors are a little bit more neon. And you'll see it's it's called an avatar object. All of the poses are accessed through this drop down. The portraits came in, you can see there, and the speci tags are also in the same file makes it really convenient for keeping everything organized and together. A few things from Nightmare Hotel did not patch over though. Um, most notably that's going to be the player files. In legacy mode you can overwrite the player files so that uh, players who enter your dream and their default species is say a rodent then they get overwritten as this little dragon guy. Um, modern mode doesn't support this out of the box. You have to do a little bit of work, but it's not too bad. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial as well. To use player files in modern mode, you have to convert them into local species and then use Dragon Speak to change players into those species when they arrive in your dream. So if we open up a new Foxit file, you can go to File, Import Objects from Legacy Fox File because this is an old. FSH file. And then we're going to import it into an avatar object into the small shape size, which is the current shape size of the game. I'm going to grab this file. And this part's going to be a little bit strange depending on which version of Foxed your file has been saved in. This is a pretty old version, so the indexing is a little bit wonky. It starts at 2, and it tells you over here you need to fill up 20 shapes to, to make a species, basically. So that's going to go from 2 to 21. Um, this file doesn't have anything in it, so I'm just going to replace the old objects so that it stays at one object. And then I'm going to say import. And you can see here it's got all of those shapes that we were looking at. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is that it does not have the portraits. For player files, I find it easier to just copy and paste the portraits in. So just grabbing them from here pasting them in the appropriate gender slot. Uh, the other thing that you'll have to do is go to Edit, Upgrade Legacy Remapping, Entire Object. And so you'll see that that changed the gray to be a little bit lighter. This is the new remapping um, for 32-bit. And now once you've pasted in your portraits and specialty tags, then you're ready to go. You save it as local 1 or local whatever number you're on, and you can use it in your dream. Another thing you can do in modern mode is make gendered avatars. 
to do that, you open a new file, file, import objects, legacy fox file. I'm using Alluvial's Modern Human Child patch. This is another free downloadable patch that comes with both female and male avatars. We're going to put this into a gendered avatar object. So you'll see here it has the genders that are available on the game. We're going to import again into the small. Even though this patch does not include an unspecified, I'm just going to import the mail into the unspecified slot so that it's not empty. It also includes portraits. So just like we did for the dragon, we're going to select these files. And for the avatar objects, we're just going to say all because when you open them up, you can see that they are 20 shapes, so that the only thing in here is the avatar object. And the portraits are the same way, although the female portrait is first, and typically it is second. So we're going to say 2, 1, 3, so that the second object type, which is the male portrait, is imported first, then the female portrait, then the unspecified portrait. And we're going to again replace this object type. And then we're going to say import. So you can see here we've got our male child, female child, unspecified child, and the portraits. This particular patch does not have speci tags. That might be something that you want to replace with the default patch options. Um, again, importing this way does not upgrade the remapping, so you'll have to do that yourself, but it's easy. Edit, upgrade, legacy, remapping, entire object. And you'll see that now these children are neon and they will remap correctly in your dream. Once you've upgraded all of your patches, you'll have to tell your dream that you'll be uploading in modern mode. Go to patches, dream settings, and select modern mode. You'll also have to select the 32-bit folder that we put all of the upgraded patches in earlier. And then hit OK. You'll see that the ambiance and lighting options have been enabled here, and the effects that are used around the dream that use transparency have been updated. Modern mode includes the alpha layer, which is the transparency layer, so you can use lighting and ambiance in your dream. It's pretty cool.